Is now the time to buy comics? That is the question that I will attempt to answer over the course of this video. Now I have some critics out there that will say that the videos that I create aren't necessarily applicable to them because they are not investors. My counter of course is that I try to put some little nuggets of truth in my videos for everyone, regardless of whether you are an investor, a collector, a speculator, or just someone that is hoping to score a really awesome comic that you've always wanted for your collection. My hope is that there is a little bit of something for everyone. With that said, let's get to the video. Reggie here and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I am going to attempt to answer the question as to whether now is the time to actually buy comics. My general answer to this question is yes. Yes, now is the time. And I say that because it's never truly a bad time to pick up a really awesome book that you want. But I also recognize the fact that everyone has different goals and objectives. They also have different amounts of disposable income. So I say generally now is a good time to actually pick up a comic. And I will tell you, over the last few months, I've been creating content that highlights the fact that inflation is having an impact on the value of comics. And so as comics are starting this downward slide, again, it makes sense that if you have the resources and you have the desire that you should pick up a comic should it present itself for a very good price. One of the challenges, of course, is trying to figure out whether this is the perfect moment or not. And we're actually going to get to that in just a moment. But one of the big things about markets is that markets generally are cyclical. And what I mean by this is that they follow cycles and these cycles are somewhat predictable. And it doesn't really matter the market. It matters more about the time at which that cycle will run its course. But generally speaking, markets will have a run up. They will hit a peak and they will start to decline. They will bottom out and then they will rise again. That is generally what happens. I was on the Fidelity website doing a little bit of research and I came across some interesting statistics that I want to share with you. What they essentially said is that economic cycles range from 28 months to 10 years and they highlighted that the stock market experiences cycles that run anywhere from six months to 12 months on average. And so this essentially says that there is an ebb and a flow to all of this and it's somewhat predictable, at least the pattern. The question is the timing at which these things will run. Inflation is definitely having an impact. We can see that comic book values are starting to take down and the question becomes how low will they go? We don't have an answer to that, right? But people will, of course, ask the question as to if now is the perfect time. And I certainly cannot answer that question, but it is something that is in the forefront of a lot of people's minds. And I will tell you that it's impossible to perfectly time the market. You can, however, reach this intersection where you have the money, you have the desire, and the book presents itself. And, and maybe that is all that you need to make magic happen. But this idea of trying to time the market perfectly and re and purchase the right book at the right moment that it has reached its bottom, I don't think that that's gonna happen. I do not think that, that is the reality as much as we would wanna do that. I think we're going to have to resolve ourselves to having the money, having the desire, coming across the book and then making a decision that now is the time versus all signs pointing to this book will go no lower than this amount. I think that we have to move beyond that. One of the great things about being in this downward trend is that you can take your time. You can take your time and slow things down to actually make sure that you are making an informed decision about the book that you're about to buy. In the cycle that we've been in, things were hot and heavy and they were moving incredibly fast. A book goes up, a book gets sold, and it was breaking a record. That was essentially where we were. We're not in that period now. And so we have this opportunity to slow things down. We have an opportunity to look at the inventory that is out there and evaluate a purchase, evaluate the book, look at the book to make sure that this is the one that you want. You don't necessarily have to pick it up because 
it's in front of you and because it's the right price. You can take some time to really consider and decide what it is that you want to do and how, more importantly, you want to spend your money because the sense of urgency isn't where it once was. To that point of the past, we are going to have to make sure that we let the past be the past and we focus on where we are in the present. Now, this could be a big issue for a lot of sellers that are so accustomed to these record-breaking prices and these crazy values that they're not recognizing that we're in a different cycle. Things are different now and you are not going to get what you were getting six months ago today, potentially for the book. And there are going to be a lot of sellers out there that are going to be hanging on as tightly as they can to the values that were seen before. And they're going to tell you this was a hot book. This book was selling for X. Well, it was. Where is it now? Is this a hot book still or is it a cool book? And what are the values for this book as of today? Don't catch that brick of paying what you could have paid six months ago today because the reality is that things look very different. So do your research, dig into the data, get access to a pricing guide, make an informed decision based upon the reality of today, not six months ago. One major thing to consider about buying comics right now is you may want to buy a collection. Yes, you can go out and buy individual books and you can probably get good deals on them. There is nothing wrong with that. But consider buying in bulk. Consider buying a collection. The reality, as I've mentioned, is that everything is cyclical. How many characters, how many books did we see in the last, let's say, 28 months that we never anticipated being a hot book, but suddenly it was a hot book for one reason or another? You're, you're essentially in that period. You're in the pre-hot period, right? You can potentially pick up a collection that is comprised of all different types of books that have the potential to be hot in the next cycle. So don't miss the opportunity to buy a collection because you're so focused on the individual book. Again, there's nothing wrong with individual books, but if you have the financial resources to snag a collection, consider it. One of the other great things about the phase that we're in right now is the upgrade potential. The potential to upgrade a book in your collection to a higher grade. I am literally going through my collection now, identifying books that I love, that I want in my collection long term, but I want a slightly higher grade of that book or one at the same grade that may have some different defects, right? Because I did a video recently where I talked about desirability. I have some books in the collection that are, the grade is fine, but the way that the book presents doesn't sit well with me. So I'm trying to identify these books. And I'm not just talking about nine sixes to nine eights. I'm talking about lower grade books that I would love to upgrade should the opportunity present itself. And so I'm actually setting all different kinds of alerts on different platforms to notify me in the event that a book that I really want at a specific grade comes onto the market so that I can evaluate whether this is something that I want to go after. Again, this is one of the benefits, if you will, of being in the phase that we're in. We have time. There is inventory and the prices are much more favorable than where they were about six months ago. So as I stated at the beginning of this video, my hope is that this will be helpful to someone out there that is watching. Just a few things to consider, a few things to think about because the phase that we're in now is very different than where we were six months or even a year ago. And I don't know if this is the phase in which you batten down the hatches and just wait for the sun to come out again. I think now is the time where you can actually buy and buy incredibly smartly and benefit the next time the cycle repeats itself because it absolutely will. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to leave your thoughts behind down in the comment section. And if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.